Let's bring in Richard Bernstein now. He is the CEO in chief. Rich, I've been looking forward to talking to you for, I, for weeks, literally. Uh, <laughs> welcome. It's great. I'm glad you're Chief Investment Officer, Richard Bernstein Advisors. Um, because I remember on this show last year in the summer, you like perfectly called what was going to happen in the back half. W what do you think is going to happen now? Well, well, thank you, Kelly. I think you just cursed me for uh, <laughs> for 2023 with that with that uh, accolade. But thank you so much. Um, look, I, I think we should be very careful in extrapolating uh, January's rally. Um, the markets are really trying to anticipate what they believe will be once again cheap and abundant liquidity from the Federal Reserve. And I think that's a mistake. I think the world has changed. I don't think we're going back to where we were. And I think that people who are speculating, investors who are speculating in, in some of these, you know, more questionable investments, I think are ultimately going to be disappointed this year. You look, we just saw from Rick Santelli that, uh, M, that M2 money supply has gone negative for the first time in quite some time. You saw a spike uh, from 2020 a couple of years ago when a ton of liquidity was coming into the market. What are the implications of there not being that flood of liquidity? Um, right. Yeah, well, Tyler, it's not just the Fed. If you look around the world and you look at, say, the percentage of yield curves around the world that are inverted, it is signaling that, you know, that there's a coordinated effort here among central banks around the world to tighten liquidity tremendously. So, you know, one of the one of the founding principles of speculation is you need liquidity. So I think that we have global liquidity contracting. Um, and that's really not a good environment to be speculating. Does, in. does what does that mean? segregated for me? Is it, what does that mean for markets? What does that mean for economies? Right. So I think for the markets, what you, you've got an environment right now where people are trying to decide: Are we seeing some kind of fundamental shift from value to growth, or is this speculation? I obviously fall on the side that says it's speculation. Mm -hmm. Why? Because cryptocurrencies are rallying tremendously too. And there's no there's no fundamental basis to cryptocurrencies that anybody could ever point to. So it clearly has to be a, a speculative rally. What does it mean for e economies? We think it ultimately means that we're going to see a very gradual 5, 10, 15, 20 year shift. I know nobody cares about that, but a 5, 10, 15, 20 year shift away from these speculative assets, which we've kind of called cute wiener dogs in the metaverse, Two real productive assets, assets that really help the economy provide value added.